These are the instruments of destiny. When we have been hurt and are fighting for our lives, we find a new force within ourselves and a new skill in weapons. These are our weapons. These will strike at the heart of Germany. As 1943 began, Bomber Command received orders for the year. Your primary object will be the progressive destruction and dislocation of the German military, industrial and economic system. These are the orders. At HQ Bomber Command, Air Marshal Harris is ready to carry them out. The Nazis entered this war under the rather childish delusion that they were going to bomb everybody else and nobody was going to bomb them. At uh, Rotterdam, in London, Warsaw, and half a hundred other places, they put that rather naive theory into operation. They sowed the wind, and now they are going to reap the whirlwind. By 1943, our weapons have grown more deadly. Our aircraft have new radio devices to sharpen the point of accuracy. Radar aids inside their secret covers become more complex and more discerning. Through this eye, the bomber can see a town anywhere in Europe. Another technique is added to the combined skill of the crew. This rotating aerial is part of a new radar system called H2S. The equipment is completely self-contained in the aircraft, and you will not be tied to any ground station. The range is unlimited, and you can operate through cloud or darkness. You will get on your capital ray tube a crude television picture of the ground over which you are passing. This is the sort of picture you will get as you approach the target. The dark V is the estuary at Bremerhaven. The brighter area surrounding it is the land, and the brightest bit of all at the bottom is the town itself. Aircraft can be launched against towns, but bombs must be plotted onto smaller targets. The commander of the new Pathfinder force must be able to mark the vital center of every attack. H2S is fine, but I want something even more accurate for the difficult congested areas like the Ruhr. What can you do for me? Well, Reeves and I have got a new system, a new blind bombing system, Obo, for you. We've built stations here at Trimingham and at Dover to control attacks on the Ruhr. Suppose, for example, the target is Essen. The station at Dover defines a track in the sky about 20, uh, 10 yards wide, which lies over Essen. The aircraft flies out onto this track and is controlled along it by means of dots and dashes, rather like this. Dots, on track, dashes. Well, that's excellent, but what about the bomb release point? The station here at Trimingham measures the ground speed of the aircraft as it goes along this narrow track towards the target, and also his distance to go. He gives warning signals to the navigator as he approaches the target and finally marks the bomb release point like this. Yes, all right, goodbye. Good morning, sir. Oh, good morning, Bennett. You wanted to talk about Obo, I think. Yes. The CNC wants you to specialize two mosquito squadrons for Obo target marking. As you know, it's always been very difficult for us to find Essen and the other big centers, hidden as they are under smoke haze, but now at last I think that Obo is going to give us the chance to do it. <laughs> the day before each raid, we go and look at the weather. The weather's always ropey over the Ruhr, and daylight flying there's a bit dicey too. Cloud doesn't worry us anymore, but we go and look and bring back the murky tidings for the Met boys to put on their charts. It's all part of the Pathfinder service. Pathfinder crews are picked and honoured men. They fly ahead with the bomber stream to mark the target with coloured flares on which the main force can drop their bombs.
Spring 1943. The target, Essen. Essen is the heart of the Ruhr, and the heart of Essen is Krupps, the industrial center of the German war machine. For years, Essen has escaped the full weight of Allied bombs. Now it is to be pinpointed by oboe and attacked by 400 bombers. The bombers are British, and over a third of the crews come from the Dominions. Tonight, they'll be over Essen. In the nights to come, over Dortmund, Duisburg, Dusseldorf, Hagen and Mulheim, Bremen, Bochum, Elberfeld. In Germany, we have our fatherland to defend, our lives to lead, our war to win. However hard the fight, we will give the world the rule of National Socialism as we have given it the music of the great masters. We are the master race and will not easily be silenced. hard for a proud people to suffer as we have suffered this spring and summer. The cities of the Ruhr are half in ruins. Some have been destroyed completely. Hamburg also has been bombed from end to end. Over 40,000 of her citizens have died in four nights of fire and bombardment. Thousands of our factories are damaged and will not work again for months. We will strengthen our defenses and make good our losses. But it is growing difficult to fulfill the Führer's plans. With night bombing more powerful and more accurate, we can tackle strategic targets we've been waiting to hit for a long time. For months past, we've been preparing an attack on reservoirs with a new bomb invented by Dr. Barnes Wallace. A bouncing bomb that'll skip across the surface of the water and explode against the dam wall. We've been carrying out experiments in great secrecy. Photographic reconnaissance has given us full details of the targets, while crews have been chosen and trained for the attack. The primary target is the Myrna Dam, which holds back 130 million gallons of water for the cities and factories of the Ruhr. May the 15th, 1943. It's evening, and there are 19 of us. 19 Lancasters, each with one brand new bomb. We leave here in three parties, led by Wing Commander Gibson. Guy Gibson. 
It's getting dark as we cross the Dutch coast. We set a dog leg course across northwest Europe to dodge the flak boxes. Radio silence, of course, till we've done the job. Then we've to signal the code word nigger back to base. There it is, just like the picture. Dark and sinister. Too quiet by half. 60 feet above the water, 240 knots. One at a time, while the rest of us support. There goes Guy. under that lot. That's the skipper signaling now. N-I-G-G-E-R. Nigger. From the Myrna, the remaining aircraft fly on to the Ada Dam and breach that too. Then silence and the long wait till they return. Of 19 Lancasters, only 11 come home. Eight aircraft and 54 men will not return. But their work has been done. Thank you. What do they like? Very good, sir. Thank you very much. That's fine. This looks pretty good. The Myrna Lake, empty. Its waters spread across the fields, the towns, the factories of the Ruhr. And in England, the King decorates the surviving crews. For Gibson, a VC, the attack has been successful. Flood has been added to fire. The United States 8th Air Force has been operating from Britain for a whole year and is now taking part in a new strategic plan known as Operation Point Blank. Our objective under this plan is to knock out the German fighter system which has been built up to obstruct our raids on Europe. We're to destroy these enemy fighters in their factories, on their airfields and in the air. We fly by day to keep up the pattern of round-the-clock bombing. As the night sorties of the RAF come home, we go out. bombers should be able to look after themselves. We call them flying fortresses, have them bristling with .50 machine guns. But the latest German fighters carry 20 millimeter cannon and outgun us. Even when flying in close formation, we've been suffering heavy casualties. So now we've begun to use escorts of long range British and American fighters. And there's one hell of a fight every time we go out.
day we produce more fighters for the Luftwaffe to fly against the Tommies and the Yanks. Our losses are very great, but the enemy's losses are heavy too. What the RAF did in the battle for Britain, we must do over Germany. It is life or death for us now. air raid siren sounds all the more harsh after a sleepless night in the shelters. In spite of these constant interruptions, we are working harder than ever before. By the end of this year, 1943, we are building more weapons of all kinds than we were at the beginning. But how much longer must we go on like this? is what we'd like to know, too. It's not so hot sticking your neck out day after day, month after month, on the same routine. Check your guns, watch the sky, and wait. Wait for your turn to come. Maybe you'll get to your target. Maybe you'll drop your bombs and get home. Maybe you won't. After the bombing attacks, the fighters tough. Homebound escorts use up their ammunition on ground targets along the route. Here is air supremacy in the making.
This is the end of one day's battle in a long war. By the beginning of 1944, the Allied bomber forces have laid waste nearly 30,000 acres in nearly 50 German towns. The Germany they have left behind has been forced onto the defensive in her own skies, but she is still unbroken. After the debriefing, there will be a night's rest for another day of flying and fighting for the crews of the 8th Air Force. But for the crews of Bomber Command, the night itself is a battlefield. The watch on the sky goes on around the clock. Hello, Anne. Oh, What's on tonight? Oh, about the same as usual. No, Most of the day boys have come in now, but you've got these stragglers out here. Mm -hmm. And the friendlies going north on patrol up there. The usual big force will be going out tonight. They'll be building up later over at Yarmouth. Mm -hmm. It's all in the log anyway, Butch. Okay. Well, okay, I'll get up to now, then. Cheers. Yes, beans tonight. Oh, no. As the struggle grows grimmer, it also becomes more complex and its range increases. In the winter, the Battle of Berlin opens. Berlin at last. It's a long haul across enemy territory, and even at night, our bombers need protection. Now, the AOC 100 group is here to tell us in the main force what protection they're going to give us while we're attacking Berlin. Could you carry on, please, sir? First, we're putting up a jamming screen along the whole of this coast, consisting of Stirlings and Halifaxes, to hide your approach across the North Sea. A similar diversionary force will accompany you in the main stream, and when you get to this point here, and you turn off to Berlin, the diversionary force will continue straight on to Leipzig. Each station gets an individual briefing. This show goes on every night on a hundred platforms all over the country. Nous allons attaquer aujourd'hui. Pardon. Je m'excuse. Vous allez attaquer la ville de Leipzig. Cette ville possède la plus grande gare d'Europe. C'est votre objectif d'aujourd'hui. Dans un instant, votre commandant de squadron vous donnera les indications concernant la route. Bomber Command is British, but its squadrons are international. Some of us who fly against Germany come from France, from Poland, from Czechoslovakia. We carry many memories along with our bomb loads. But when we have been hurt and are fighting for our lives, the battle is the only reality.